The suicide rate in El Paso County is above the national average. No one knows why. More than 150 people committed suicide in El Paso County last year, and that's not even a record high. Now, the county's averaged 140 suicides over the past five years, and the reasons behind this trend still remain unclear. But tonight, we're hearing from a suicide survivor who has a message for you. We spoke with Carity on News Channel 13, Scott Harrison, today. It's a story that's new at 5 o'clock. After a kind of rough experience in high school, um, I attempted suicide for the first time, which I tried by uh, slitting my wrists, which didn't work. This spring suicide survivor is 30 years old now. He doesn't want you to know who he is. He just wants you to hear what he says. Between age 18 and age 25, I tried killing myself about three times. Each time um, was with pills. He says depression over his parents' divorce, followed by drug and alcohol abuse, fueled his desire to die. Local suicide prevention specialist Janet Carnes says hurting from pain is a common trait among those who try or succeed with suicide. Carnes says last year in El Paso County alone, 151 people took their own lives. That's a rate of 28 per 100,000 people well above the nationwide rate of 12 per 100,000. El Paso County has averaged 140 suicides for the past five years. No one knows exactly why. Karn says no one's willing to fund a study that might provide answers. I mean, we are not a feel-good cause. Um, and people tell us that all the time. Um, you know, we're really glad you're here. We love the work you're doing, but you're not a feel-good cause. This suicide survivor says what finally led him to stop trying to take his own life wasn't the pleas to seek help from relatives or friends. It was hearing from someone else who went through the same things that he did. Being able to connect with another person who understands where the mind goes um, is crucial. So this survivor found hope and help. He says it's out there for those who want it. In Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Thanks, Scott. And the Suicide Prevention Group says for every person who takes his or her own life, between 15 to 25 other people will attempt it.